Hello everyone, welcome back to another part of Apologist Ace Attorney. Last time I got your ass off, we did a little bit talking to Emma. Found out that a little suspicious device had turned out to be a lighter. And now we're here talking to Darian. What? Come laugh at me. Come uh, What? Come laugh at the murderer? Darian! That old bag opens her pie hole and wham bam, my life goes down the chute. Thanks. They won't l let me work at. They won't let me work at the precinct. I'm a suspect. Darian is in the best of moods, is he? Not many people are these days, it seems. It's a, it is a crime scene. Not exactly the happiest place to hang out. Then Gavin had to go rub salt in the wound. My alibi is rock solid. Rock solid! He seems really ticked right now. Let's talk to him about your alibi then. Let's see if we, let's see if we can calm you. Let's see if we can, we can calm you down now. So what's your alibi? You have to ask? The shooting happened right in the middle of the third set. Um, that's right. The music was blurring when we heard those gunshots and found Mr. Latouse dead. I've got 10,000 witnesses who saw me too, right there on that stage. Your guitar playing was something else. Thanks, little little lady. See, this whole thing's a sham. I can't believe they aren't letting me work. There's no need to yell at me. It's Lamira, it's Lamira's fault. She was the one who said she heard his voice at the moment of the crime. Man, I never even talked to that old windbag. How could she possibly identify me? He won't let you work? He won't let me work. Gavin says I got I gotta lie low till the suspicion is cleared. What's suspicion? He can be such a stick in the mud. Mr. Gavin, he's stick in the mud? He may look all flashy and showy, but he's straight as an arrow, man. Such when he's depressed. You hear him whining the other day? Oh, you mean the thing with the mixing board? Yeah, he was pretty ticked here, wasn't he? He's just a perfectionist, is all. Not a bad guy, really. Well, I think Ga the Gaviner, the, the Gaviners, are the best. I have all your albums. The band's fine too. Gavin can write a good tune. I'll give him that. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Prosecutor Gavin around much. Oh, him? He's down at the prosecutor's office, most likely. The prosecutor's office? I've never been there, have I? The data on the victim should have come in from Interpol. Normally, I'd be down there dealing with it normally. Apollo, let's go to check it out. I always wanted to see the prosecutor's office. Hmm, maybe that's not such a bad idea. Right on. Say hi for me, okay? Oh, and screw you. <laughs> and tell him I won in that crime scene. Um, we'll be going now. Hey, wait. Yes? What do you really think happened? Really? You don't think I did it, right? Well... Great. Wait to instill a guy with some confidence. Just remember, I was ripping it all, ripping it up on that stage when it happened. Okay, ripping. Don't let, don't get led astray by some siren song, eh? Get this one wrong, and you'll be eating humble pie for a year. I'll bake it myself. Let's not talk to him anymore, all right? <laughs> yeah, that, that that right there makes me more suspicious of him. So, let's head to Gavin's office, shall we, and hear more of this guy. Just, I really want to hear more of this guy, but we got it. So, this is it. This is it. Okay, the governor's head office. It's not the band's office, it's the prosecutor's office. Yeah, so that's why I am asking. What is this creepy thing, object, whatever? Looks like prosecutor Gavin is on the phone. Oh well, guess we'll have to come back. Or well, we can hide behind the bookshelf real quiet like. That's eavesdropping. Why? We, we'd just be waiting quietly so he didn't notice. What if we heard something scandalous about the band? She'd make a good reporter for a gossip mag. <laughs> what? A replica? So why was he after it in the first place? Yeah, Latouse. Latouse? Look, don't talk to me about those Virginians, okay? Just get me the report! Chop chop! And stop leaving mysterious objects in my office, okay? Beep. It's times like this that I start to miss Darian. Huh? Um, hiya! Tee he just thought we'd drop in. Hope you didn't, you're not mad. 
How could I be? There's not enough tea in the world. In any case, have a seat. Professor Gavin, the philanthropist. What and learn, Apollo? <laughs> so, who have you come to see? Huh? Clavier, lead vocalist for the Gaviners? Our persecutor Gavin, scourge of the cart room. What do you think he means, Apollo? I think he's giving us a choice. We could either ask him about the concert or the case. Which way to go? I guess we gotta talk to him about the case. Ah, that reminds me. Did you see the paper today? Yes. I always read the t TV section. Good girl. How about you, her forehead? I read the funnies. Same here. <laughs> then you will not have seen this. Concert of Tragedy, the prosecutor's deadly song. Oh, that's that. Is that a new show? I haven't heard about that one. It's not a show. That's not a it's show. an article. It's News, you know. <laughs> oh, does this have anything to do with the case? Since getting back from the trial, my phone has been ringing off the hook. How does it feel to take a man's life with a song? Have you ever hummed a man on the way to death row? Do you think you could sing for me over the phone? It is endless. Endless. Thanks to the case you made today, of course. Oh, that was all Apollo's idea. Hey. Ah yes, the Virginian Daily Bugle. Go ahead, take a look. Hey, look at that! I see Romain Latus is a uh, picture, and also um, Lamiar over there. Um, th thanks, but I can't read Virginian. Oh, that's right. Suffice it to say, this is big news over there as well. Though they didn't go so far as to mention the lyrics to my song. Probably no one in Virginia could believe it. It's probably seen as just a theory at this point. Their journalist doesn't see the need to mention it. That makes sense, I hardly know what to think of it myself. The super edits our call records. Lamiroir's testimony will probably be in the evening edition, I imagine. Which is why I've had Darian step down from the investigation for now. Yeah, we ran to him moping in front of the Coliseum. Lamiroir was my invited guest, so it is a rather delicate situation. You understand how much I want to solve this case, quickly, if possible. Okay, now you want to examine that burnt guitar over there. <laughs> burnt guitar! Talk about, a, talk about some serious wood um, dissolving. That was an impressive bit of power techniques that, uh, that did this. That's the guitar from the co concert, isn't it? Yeah, the one that burnt away. That's right, it was last year. I never guessed that was the end of it. I had a specialist analyze the guitar, incidentally. Oh, did you find anything out? He didn't have a lot of time, so it's still unclear. But the results he came up with were... Intriguing. Intriguing? How's that guitar tied and everything that went on? Sounds like something we should ask about. Uh, I think that's it that you want to examine. Oh, actually, where's that white container? Here it is. What's on that plate there? Is that gum? Gum? Maybe he was chewing it when the phone rang. So you put it on the plate for a later consumption. You think a rock star could afford a fresh stick? Don't jump to any conclusions now. That's no chewing gum. Take a closer look. Although I really shouldn't be offering, should I? What is that? It looks like a lump of plastic. Wait, that phone call. Not gonna avoid put. Not gonna. I'm gonna put effort into putting his voice to that. Cuts of those flashbacks. I think once is enough for you guys. I'm hoping that once is enough. President Gavin, does this have something to do with Mr. Latus? Wait a second. You were listening to my phone call, weren't you? Who, us? I tried to stop him, really, but he forced me to. Oh, come on. Hey, you were the one digging for a scandal, Mr. Reporter. To tell the truth, I'm not even sure what it is. But apparently, it's a model of something undercover agent Mr. Latus was after. 
This lump? Would you mind telling us about uh, what do you know about the, about it? And that's pretty much it. So we can talk to her. We can talk to him now. I really love that song. It has such great atmosphere to it. You co-wrote it with Lamirar, if I remember correctly. That's right. It was last year. I had gone to Turbo Genius legal system, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry, guys. I tend to do that. I need to start doing it. Working on it. And that's when you heard Lamuar's voice. It was at a small jazz club. I wept that night. I knew I had to meet her, to talk with her. So I used my influence, which is not inconsiderable, to arrange a meeting. Well, prosecutors really have a lot of clout. I think he's sort of a special case, Tuesday. Thankfully, she liked the work I did, and we wrote a song right there, backstage. Machi on piano, that dose at voice, and myself on a guitar that I borrowed from Lamirar. And music history was made. Probably not an experience you average slayer would have, like Apollo say. It is a memory I hold dear, and the song we wrote that night was this. And the very guitar is right over there. No matter, I shall never sing that song again. I wouldn't have used that guitar again either, even if I could have. What happened during that song anyway? Why did his guitar suddenly catch on fire? Your charred, I mean, sully burnt guitar. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't mind. What more could happen to it? Well, we, we already looked at it, so... Let's talk to him about Lamiora's, uh... It was a beautiful instrument. It was played lovingly for many years. A guitar befitting a woman like Lamiora. How did it end up here? She gave it to me. I mentioned how much I enjoyed playing it that night, and she made a present of it. So this guitar is from Virginia? That it is. We couldn't carry it on the plane. Changes in air pressure and humidity were in the wood. So we vacuum packed it in La Mirar's studio. I used a special shipping service available to me for transporting evidence. They brought it right up to my office for me. Pristine and untouched. See, prosecutors do have a lot of clout. Um, I still think he's a special case. Such a valuable guitar, it's too bad it got burnt. We now have his burnt guitar in our in our in our pocket. What was it that you were saying earlier? Something about intriguing results from an examination of the guitar? That's right. What was it that what was it all what was all that about? Well, you know how guitars have a round hole in the front. It is called the sound hole. Oh, so that's what that's what it's called. Well, they found something attached to the wood just inside the hole. A broken device of some sort. A broken device? Yes, this in fact. The examiner is busy with evidence for the case now, however. So he'll be checking this out once he's finished with everything else. Hmm. Ah, that device looks strangely familiar. Talk to him about that strange lump. This was found in Mr. Latus's bag. It's apparently a replica of something. A replica? It's a small lump about an inch and a half long. We analyzed it, but there's not much to say other than it's a lump of plastic. Perhaps it was to be used in the identification of whatever it is a replica of. You mean, whatever Mr. Latus was after? That seems to be the most logical explanation. Well, well, what is it? Don't ask me, Fraulein. Oh, if you don't want to tell us, you could just say so. I've put in a request to Interpol via my contacts in Virginia. But, apparently there is a block of information somewhere along the chain. Oh? Something Interpol doesn't want to tell Virginia. Something about this little piece of plastic. Mr. Latus went through all the trouble to become Lamure's manager. 
just to come to this country to find out more about this lump? And he died for it. They got the replica in here now. I've sent someone to the Colosseum to fetch Lamirar. Perhaps she knows something about it being a Virginian. I guess that's it for this part of Hall Justice Ace Attorney. I think the next part will pretty much we'll wrap up our investigation and um, we'll do a whole lot more. Uh, see you guys then.